Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, today we're gonna to be talking about some of the creepiest commercials of all time. Now I started thinking about this because of a video I did a couple months ago. I talked about this creepy tissue commercial that supposedly was cursed and if you watched it, you died. And it was so creepy that they took it off of TV and it was banned. If you don't remember, take a look. By the grass and they look at the grass They look at the sky It's going to be a fine night tonight Yeah. Fucking terrifying. But surprisingly, that's not the scariest commercial that's ever been on TV. There have been a lot more, and these are just a few of my favorites. Okay, so this one is for an ice cream shop in Philadelphia. It's called Little Baby's Ice Cream. And I know what you're thinking, Shane, how can an ice cream commercial be creepy? Take a look. I eat Little Baby's Ice Cream. It keeps me young. It keeps me light on my feet. I spring from activity to activity. I love my job. I love my life. When you eat little baby's ice cream, you'll wink and nod and hug and high-five each other with great enthusiasm. This is a special time. Yeah. What the fuck? The commercial is this guy made of ice cream and he's fucking eating himself. I don't know. Ugh, literally just watching that gives me chills. Now people were freaking out when they saw this commercial and the co-founder of the company said, I came to realize that ice cream is a blank canvas and you can just let your imagination go wild. I mean, kudos to him for making something imaginative but fuck him for giving me fucking nightmares. Speaking of nightmares, you guys know that I am terrified of dolls. I am terrified of any type of little kid toy that talks. I don't trust them and I don't like them. Well, this is a commercial from 1965 and it's for a doll called Baby Secret. And it's a doll that fucking whispers secrets to you. I am not lying. Watch. Mattel's new Baby Secret. She whispers just to you. Her lips really move. I want to tell you something. It's almost unbelievable. Get Mattel the new baby secret so you can have fun keeping secrets together. I know, can I say that to you? That is. I know. Never sleeping again. Now that fucking toy, surprisingly, was the top selling toy that year. People bought that for their children. And some people still have that doll today. I found this video and it is so fucking creepy. Just watch. I swear to God, it sounded like it said, I want to kill you. Right? Like, it did not sound like it said, I want to tell you something. I don't know. <sighs> but that's not the only creepy fucking doll commercial there is. I don't know if you guys remember this or if you're too young, but back when I was a kid, there was the Snuggles doll. Now, Snuggles was like a laundry detergent, and their mascot was this creepy fucking teddy bear that talked. Shh, Cindy's sleeping in Snuggly softness, because only Snuggle fabric softener gets all your laundry as soft as me. Soft enough for even Cindy. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, fuck no! Also, did you see that creepy fucking face he made at the end when he was talking in that girl? Look at the face! You want me to buy laundry detergent? You think that's going to make me want to buy your product? All that makes me want to do is buy a gun and keep it under my crib. <laughs> Okay, so let's move away from kids' toys because I just need a break. And let's talk about some creepy commercials that come from other countries. So this is a tire company in Japan that released this commercial, and it literally is like a horror movie. It's so creepy and scary that there is an actual warning before the commercial. Like when you're watching TV, a warning pops up saying, hey, this might fuck you up. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't say that, but something close to that. Here, check it out. It's 
see? Fucking scary, but actually also kind of cool. Now that one was so shocking to people that it actually got on a lot of lists, including the scariest commercial of all time. And some people have said it's one of the coolest ads ever, and I think it is kind of cool. Okay, so this next one is a public service announcement, and I can't even explain how fucking creepy this is. I'm just going to show you. But basically, it was a public service announcement made back in 1978, and it's trying to keep kids away from water. Basically trying to keep kids away from like lakes and stuff when their parents aren't around, keep kids from drowning, that kind of stuff. But they took it and really fucking ran with it and made one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Watch. I am the spirit of dark and lonely water, ready to trap the unwary, the show-off, the fool. And this is the kind of place you'd expect to find me. The show-offs are easy, but the unwary ones are easier still. This branch is weak, rotten. It'll never take his way. I know. I mean, I now don't want to go near water. I mean, obviously, I don't want to go near water. As you can see, I haven't showered in days. But if I was a kid, that would have fucked me up. I literally would have never gone to the beach. <laughs> I never would have gone anywhere. I mean, I didn't anyways. Let's talk about the next commercial. Okay, so this next commercial was a coffee commercial. And I don't want to give it away, but I'm just going to say it's not what it appears to be. Check it out. I know, fuck, it got me again. Those fucking pop-up commercials always get me. Even though I know it's coming, it still fucking gets me. And they literally made like 10 of them and I have seen all of them and I still fucking jump every time. Here's just another one that made me scream like a little bitch. Don't lie, that one got you too. Okay, so this next commercial is from Orkin, and they are a um, bug killing company. There's probably a better way to say that, but they kill bugs. Now they did this series of commercials where they had like big bugs popping up into random scenarios, and there's nothing creepier to me than cockroaches, and spiders, and fucking bugs. So the thought of seeing them like eight feet tall, just, Beautiful night. Mind if I uh, join you? Ah, that feels wet. Ah! <laughs> Ew! Everything about that was ill. Also, were those balls? I, did you see balls? I think I saw balls. I mean, the thought of being in a jacuzzi with my shirt off anyways is terrifying enough. I don't want to think about an eight foot tall fucking cockroach climbing in with me. I mean, but listen, it made me really want to kill that bug, so I guess they did their job. Okay, so let's talk more about some PSAs. Now, PSAs can go really far. I've shown some before on my channel of like car crashes and like drug side effects. Like the point of a PSA is to scare you so that you stay away from something. And this PSA, I'm pretty sure was about seatbelts, but it also could have been about home security. I don't know. I researched it. I couldn't figure it out. Either way, it is very, very disturbing. And I'm warning you, a child dies in it and it, it is really disturbing. So if you are triggered or kind of scared of that kind of stuff, I would leave this video. All right, but here it is. And it is very fucking sad. Watch. Sans ceinture de sécurité, un choc à 50 km heure et qui voit une chute du quatrième étage. I know. It just felt so fucking real, like seeing those people fall and the sound of them hitting the ground and... Ugh. So that was in 2002 and that was made in France. And once again, I'm still I'm kind of confused as to what they are talking about. I'm pretty sure it's seatbelts. Either way, it's going to keep me from going on a balcony forever. 
All right, so back when I was a kid, there was these commercials for Duracell batteries. I don't understand what they're made of. I don't know if it's special effects or like a mask. I don't fucking know. Basically, it was like back in the early 90s, there was this family that the battery company created and the family was charged by batteries. So they were kind of like robot people. Either way, they were so fucking creepy and everything about them was fucking terrifying and made me not want to buy batteries. Made me want to buy, I don't know, a fucking blindfold <laughs> and watch my TV wearing it so I didn't have to see these motherfuckers. Here, just take a look at the scariest family you will ever see. So, is everybody using Duracell batteries? No kidding. The second I heard they had a battery that lasts all other brands, I bought the family a whole case. Reminds me of the first time we tried Duracell batteries. We were living in Tulsa with their great aunt Emma. <laughs> we shared a one room apartment. <laughs> Herb, did you slip her one of those other batteries? Me? <laughs> <laughs> the copper top. Tops them all. I didn't lie. Fucking creepy. How, like, what the fuck? Whose idea was that? Who in a boardroom was like, oh, let's make fucking creepy ass mannequin, robot, melted crayon people? I don't know, but Duracell, if you want to do a hashtag spawn some ready, because I'm looking pretty fucked up right now. I could look like a member of the Duracell family if you wanted me to. Okay, so this last commercial we're going to talk about. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but also terrifying. I don't know, the first time I saw it, I was very young, and it really did fuck me up. I was very confused, I asked my mom what the fuck just happened, and then when I watched it years later, no, it was still scary. But I'm just warning you, it's going to make you scared of literally everything, <laughs> because anybody you talk to could just fucking... I'm not gonna give it away, just enjoy. I know a place that's peaceful and quiet, a place where animals play, it's called a forest, but every year we start forest fires. A careless match, a cigarette, and poof, fire. So the next time you're in the forest, be extra careful, okay? <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened? Ha! <laughs> ah! Fuck! Ah! Every time now, every time I watch TV and I see a normal person talking and it's zooming in on them, I'm like, it's gonna be a bear. It's gonna be a fucking bear. They're gonna take off their fucking people suit. It's gonna be a fucking bear in disguise. Literally. Like, that image just fucking burned in my brain. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it scared you. And hopefully you are not gonna have any nightmares while you're thinking about what the- Okay. <laughs> If I just turn into a bear. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go. Hopefully you enjoy these creepy commercials. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want more creepy videos. And subscribe to my channel right down below because I make new videos every single day. And if you want to see all my other creepy videos, my conspiracy theory videos, and all of that, I'll put a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. All right, you guys, good luck sleeping tonight. Bye. Oh, that's a cool YouTuber. I'll talk. I'll clickbait. Although now I could call this video, my dick is on fire? My dick is lit! I'll go home.